Jeff Hardy accept the proposal of Dusty Rhodes to join the TNA roster this past Wednesday at the Asylum? We also saw the reaction of the alpha male Monty Brown and the NWA champ Jeff Jack when Dusty delivered Hardy's contract for an upcoming world's title match. Think about this, Mike today, Dusty Rhodes. You know, we wondered what was in the in the in the vanilla folder. We wondered what he was promising Jeff Hardy, and we found out what it was. He was promised him a title shot if Jeff Hardy came in, and he did come over, and you saw the reaction of Monty Brown and Jeff Jarrett. The emergence of this man, the alpha male Monty Brown, is a major player in the NWA World's title picture, has come after months of an undefeated streak, a streak that includes wins over many of the top names in our sport. But in order to be recognized as the number one contender to the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett, the alpha male Monty Brown must defeat Jeff Hardy this Wednesday exclusively on pay-per-view from the Asylum. I mean, think about that. What a first match for Jeff Hardy to come into the TNA. I mean, uh, well, is that true? He did have the match with AJ Styles, but a first match in pursuit of the title. And you've got to go up against the alpha male Monty Brown, a man who can hit you with the pounce. And if he hits it, the night is over. One of the most devastating finishing moves in professional wrestling, the pounce of the alpha male Monty Brown, the former National Football League linebacker with the New England Patriots and Buffalo Bills, and he takes Antonio Banks up into the air and dropped him down directly across that steel safety rail. As far as Monty Brown's concerned, Jeff Hardy is just one more obstacle in his way to the title, and he's defeated all obstacles on his on this path to the World Championship. And as we watch the alpha male Monty Brown in action here on Impact, I guess it's only natural, I have to wonder out loud whether Jeff Hardy will make his presence felt this week on this Impact broadcast. I'll tell you what, it would be great to see him, but we have no idea whether he's going to make it, but he did come in Wednesday night when everybody was anticipating what he would do. He signed the contract, and he's here at TNA, and he wants a title shot. Antonio Banks, 28 years of age, a four-year pro from the Liberty City area of Miami, Florida, going to try and mount a comeback and mount some offense here against the Alpha Male. See right here the strength of the Alpha Male. Oh, wait a minute there. Telegraph the back body drop, and that cost Monty Brown. Why a oh, kick look miss. at that blow. That's what I'm talking about. Monty Brown could just end things so quickly. He's so overpowering. I mean, he's unorthodox as a wrestler, but he makes up for it in brute strength and his athleticism. Going to shoot Banks off into the road. Oh, there it is. There's the pounce. Out of nowhere, you see the alpha male connect with the pounce, take down Antonio Banks. Going to go for the pin. Going to go for the cover. Puts him away the main on beat. The winner of the match, the Alpha Male, Monty Brown! As always, Mike, today when you hit a pounce like that, when you hit with that brute force like a linebacker, carrying into a running back, it's all academic. The Alpha Male maintains his unbeaten streak. Will he remain undefeated after this Wednesday when he needs Jeff Hardy to determine a number one contender to the NWA champ?